Okay, I have to say I'm somewhat amazed and somewhat impressed. I ordered this from UK Bamboo Supplies Limited and it arrived the next day. I was thinking, you know, a week by the time they get themselves together and all that sort of stuff. But one day later, it arrived here, and really quite early actually. So we've got a whole stack here of bamboo between 35 and 40 millimeters in diameter, and this is what we're going to make our quad bike out of. So let's get out of the package. I'm working on this in sections. So we're gonna deal with this back section, which is the chair, because all of the sections are pretty much made the same way actually. So we deal with this, and then you break it down into sections, then it's all the same construction technique. So having had a look at the section, what I do is plan it out, and this is the back chair along with the rear axle, and I cut all the pieces of bamboo to size, and then drill appropriate sized holes so that the other pieces of bamboo can slot into it, and that gives me kind of a socket and peg joint. I'm holding that joint together with Gorilla Glue, the waterproof adhesive. It's polyurethane, it expands to more or less the same colour as the bamboo, and it's incredibly strong. Now, I don't know how it'll hold up when it's actually in use, but certainly for handling it, once it's done, and this is the main axle, so this is the bit that um, we welded in, the bit of pipe, and these go to the back axle, and there'll be a stair going up there, so that's part of the main subframe, and it holds beautifully. So certainly, for getting the thing together, Gorilla Gluing it is just awesome, so we can build that structure. And as I say, all I'm going to do is repeat that methodology until we've got the frame built. So... Um, oh, one more thing, I do slot the pieces together before gluing it to make sure the whole section fits and is square. Give me a chance to square it up and give it a jiggle around so that I can make sure it's in the right position. So when you made your sections and you're happy with them, all you do again is glue them and assemble them into your frame. And we put those sections together to build up the frame. Okay, and that's the frame all together. It's really light, actually. I can pick that up with one hand and hold it out, so it's really light. Now, it is, at the moment, only held together with um, Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue is great, but this is going to be flexing an awful lot, and it is bamboo. So Gorilla Glue isn't enough to hold this together. What we need to do is we need to wrap the joints. Now, what I mean by that is right here. You drill a hole here and then you feed your fibre through and you can see I'm using carbon fibre and you feed it through the hole and then you wrap it around there and we paint that with resin what we get is a carbon fibre joint. Now you don't have to use carbon fibre, you can use string if you want. I just so happen to have an awful lot of this stuff which is carbon fibre tau. Now tau has the fibres in a single direction which is what we want because this thing is going to want to pull apart that way. Remember, it's a socket joint, so the forces this way and this way and this way and this way are taking care of the socket. It's wanting to pop out that way, which is why we need to wrap it. So I'm going to deliver a whole load of carbon fibre tau along these joints and then resin it. And I'll say to do that, I've got this one ready. We just drill a hole here. You drill a hole, feed your carbon fibre in and then go around. And you do that, you have a carbon fibre joint. Okay, so when you've done that, this is what you end up with. It is the frame for the quad bike that we built in 1146, 1147 and 1149, where we basically two, took two kids' bikes and welded them together. Now, that compact quad I really liked. There were a couple of problems with it. It was a little bit short, so this has actually been extended by 100 mil, but all the other uh, measurements have been taken from that quad bike. So we're re reproducing that in bamboo, and of course, First thing is make a frame. And there is our frame that reproduces that quad bike. And now, of course, we can build the rest of the quad. So if you're enjoying the project, please do remember to subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.